Hello, my name is Ira Winder, a research scientist at the MIT Media Lab. Uh, we've been working with the Center for Livable Cities in Singapore to develop a rapid prototyping interface for city planning. For example, I have a Lego block here. It's not just a Lego block, it's actually a component in our interface for planning in the Jurong Lakeway District so that we can look at walkability as a function of amenities and their placement. But why don't I actually show you the tool? What you see here is a tabletop built out of Lego that is actually interactive, so I can move around pieces to change the configuration of the table and the state of what you see. We've loaded in the Jurong Lakeway District. Uh, you see the MRT stop here in the center. All of the dots on the table are actually amenities that we've loaded in from GIS data. Uh, types of amenities we've included are actually bus stops in red, retail in blue circles, um, and also uh, schools in yellow squares, for example. Uh, the power of this tool is that we can actually start doing analysis of the area in terms of walkability right away. So if I turn on this heat map, we're actually creating a score of walkability uh, for every pixel of land in our site. Uh, in the green, you actually have areas scoring well in walkability. In red, not so well. Our measure of walkability is a measure of, if I were to stand there, what good access do I have within walkable distance of a number of amenities, for instance, six. Uh, and the walkable distance in our case is programmed to be about 400 meters, uh, the typical Singaporean walking distance. So if I want to focus my analysis on a particular amenity, I can actually move an amenity. For instance, this block represents retail. If I put it in my filter, my heat map is now updated to only look at walkability to retail in this whole district. If I take another one of my retail places and place it directly on the table, you actually see the heat map update. Another neat thing about our analysis is we can look at not just the walkable access in general, but we can look at the paths that people are likely taking to and from amenities. So, these lines are connecting transit stops to the retails themselves. And the color of the path is actually the type of path people walked on. We've actually loaded in a number of different types of paths, yellow being normal pedestrian street level walking, green being elevated pathways, etc. For instance, this is showing the, each of these colored circles represents the pathway, the surface that people can walk on, and the routes follow those as shown. So why don't we actually use this to start planning a city? I have my retail here. I also have another Lego block, this red one, that actually indicates clinics. So right here you see an area with a couple of bus stops, and I'm going to take the filter off right now, a couple of bus stops and not much else. So this area is not very walkable according to our analysis, so maybe using these pieces we can make it a little bit better. By the way, I have a couple age groups here that I can tailor the analysis for. I can look at the walkability for young people, 0 to 16 age, working age people, and seniors. For now, I'm just going to focus on the working age people. So these bus stops. If I place a retail amenity nearby, our system does two things. It updates the heat map, but it also creates a link between these two amenities. And if I turn on my agents, I can actually create a rough simulation of the people and how they walk. So each of these little white dots here is showing how people might likely walk to and from amenities in my city. So when I place this retail amenity here, my heat map got better, but it wasn't quite clear why. So I'm going to adjust my filter so that I'm looking only at retail again. And now it's a little bit more clear the difference between placing no retail and placing my retail shop nearby. This area on the other side of the street is still scoring a little poorly, so I might add another unit of retail right there. That's wonderful. So I've increased the walkable access in this neighborhood for retail, but what if I wanted to know how walkable um, it was for access to healthcare and clinics? I can actually add my clinic into the dock now. 
and now I'm looking at the heat map just for clinics. So even though I have retail here, it's still very poor walkability if I wanted to find healthcare. So I can actually similarly start intervening and placing healthcare amenities in my site and increasing the score that way. There we go. And if I take it away from the dock, I can now look at my neighborhood overall. There we go. So as you can see, we've used our system to intervene in this neighborhood that had some problems and made it a little bit better for walkability if we were to propose these amenities in the area.